Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken. We're playing Legendary Iron Man difficulty. I figured I would go back to our campaign here because we're in month number seven and it's uh, currently intense. As intense as it could be, we're fighting against the aliens left and right and we're trying to kind of get the domination of uh, Northern and Southern America. Um, in real life, it is, I think, one day before the Chimera Squad uh, XCOM game is being released, so I figured I'll get a few more episodes in. Of course, when this is going to air on YouTube, probably the Chimera Squad episode or complete run will already been, uh, will have been released, but it's good to still um, yeah, continue with this run here for a little bit and today we're going to look at Operation Moonfire in New Mexico. As a result we would get a sharpshooter and I'm really looking forward for that. Uh, we're fighting against only 12 enemies so pretty straightforward and we got a really good squad. Um, we got our skirmisher, Harbringer, we got Quick Feed, our specialist, we got an assault, Sean Shonigan's uh, puppy as our a ranger, we got Igor Kuchais, uh, the Shinobi, and we got Pitbull as a Grenadier, so pretty decent team I would say. And the only thing we need to do is actually rescue him, so I think that's going to be a home run, guys. And here we go. Let's get right into the action. Did I see that we do have 13 turns? Oh, 19? Behave. That's a lot of time. I think we're oh, I think we're going to be really happy about that much time. So Igor here is trying to start scouting out. I think we're going for this high ground here and then just simply take it from there. Solid copy. I have visual. Interesting. Got ourselves a drone and a viper. No need to ask twice. Moving in with Sean Shonigans. Pitbull is taking the other flank over here. Puppy. Yeah, it takes too long to actually go um, onto the building here. So instead we're taking low ground for once, I know. Shocker, so I can place a low ground position. That hasn't happened in a while. Oh, triple viper. We know that there is 12 enemies and having triple vipers right away and so close to us. Oh, that is really handy. <laughs> Holy moly, that is handy. All right, tell me we do have something great available. Well, a grenade pull is never wrong, so that's an option. We could just not give a damn and move here. And blade storm attack. Definitely an option. Or we're keeping his um, his ca uh, concealment and instead wrath in, which is exactly what we're going to do, because we got Bladestorm on our um, on our skirmisher as well. So that's solid seven points of damage, just kind of as a warm up to say hello. And surprise, surprise. <laughs> no one moved? Are you serious? Okay, well, that is hilarious. Okay, as a result, because uh, they are afraid, they just decided to not move at all. This is probably the most comical reaction that I've seen in a while. It's actually hilarious by thinking about it. 
So they prefer standing in the open rather than moving in. Good, we got Implaceable, which means this here's a free move into an even better position. Hell yeah. Oh, puppy destroys them. Holy. Holy moly. That was pretty good. You know what? Okay. Moving Sean Shonigans up here. And good old rapid fire. <laughs> Six. Boy, oh boy. I have missed this game in real life between the last mission and this mission. I've probably taken about a week uh, more of a break from time to time after playing a game for yeah more than 5,000 hours. Yeah, you you gotta take healthy breaks to not just overdo it. Uh, it feels grindy elsewise and I'm personally not a big fan of playing a game when it feels like a grind. I much rather play the game when it is fun and for me fun uh, it, I usually need a break in in between and then I'm getting excited about the game again so that was a lot of fun specifically seeing those crit values absolutely disgusting I love it Okay, let's try to not trigger them right away. Good, so all of this here should work well. We have plenty of time. No need to hurry too much. Okay, sounds like a plan. How about everyone just overwatches? And hopefully it waits for them to come a bit closer. So that we can get a nice little overwatch trap here. Well, that was not, not a really well placed or war trap. Alright, more than 50% chance to get this guy. Very nice. Perfect. Nice little shredding. Perfect. Moving up. There's another pack. I think we haven't triggered them yet. Just means we need to make sure that we're not moving any closer than our current position. I was honestly expecting to hit him because we are flanking him. Hmm. Alright, another chance. Hmm. 
Hmm. Let's teamwork. Rapid fire, defense, dodge. Okay, it's again his stupid defense. We're actually flanking him, but you just wouldn't know because he has defense. <laughs> oh boy. Pretty sure we can see the drone and puppy should be more than able to kill the drone by the way before we do so let's see if we can actually haywire them What's our chance here for a full override? Not bad. Um, I won't go for it immediately because doing it would trigger the other pack. I don't want to do that. So instead we're just normal haywire protocoling and shutting it down. That's good enough for now. Yeah. That was a bit unexpected. Getting rid of its armor, still got plenty of um, explosives and if you think this is a pack of three, we killed another pack of three, we killed another pack of three, so that's nine, uh, one drone, that's ten, and it was ten to twelve, so there is at least, uh, at the maximum is one other additional pack. Or watching to kill the drone if needed. Yeah, that is unfortunately not what I was expecting. Okay, and we got penalized for for the sloppiness with uh, an additional two rounds. Moving to position. Classical 90 plus percent shot that misses. Sean Sean again gets our aid protocol. Quick feed is trying to finish the drone. Minimum damage, so that we're exactly one damage short. I think we're just waiting here for one round. Nothing wrong with that. I don't want to loot yet. Done. Unless we're using Kuchais for it, because he cannot be seen. Okay, we know that there is a pack over here. Uh, there's the shield bearer over here, and we knew that there was a pack over there. Just got hot here. There we go. I'm on it. Checkmate. One more turn, and pa uh, Puppy will be back up.
Perfect timing for us to move into a high ground position. Good to go. Sean Sean again definitely should go into a high ground position. Yeah, and we can simply fight from up there. Hmm. You know, let's just use our cooldown reduction. Uh, how do they see us? Specifically through the roof? Are you serious? So they just casually walk by. <laughs> okay. Well, unfortunately, we graced them. On the move. All right, so this should hit everyone. Just need to keep it very calm. Steady. There we go. It was actually just one pixel. Cool, so the pack never triggered really. Instead, <laughs> instead the Viper just decided to randomly go for it and spit on us. On that is hilarious. Okay, so if we were to grab, uh, can we grab anywhere over here? Answer is a no. But by moving down here, I figure we could at least grab over here and then take a flanking shot. So let's try that. Well, apparently it's not working out as intended. Yeah, we can't just stand in the open. That is not going to work. Which means we got a pop run gun. Ironically, now it lets me grapple. It will cause through. All right, so that was a free hit. The 
this here technically shouldn't end my turn. Because the grapple hasn't used the second action and we still have run and gun. Okay. Alright. Well, now that is a bit strange. I figured uh, that would be it. But apparently it isn't. Might as well go on. So what's our chance to get this mech? You know, it's not that bad. Might as well try to get it permanently. Of course, we're failing. Having a drone would have been pretty cool. Alright, and since uh, this year is indeed our last turn, uh, our last enemy pack, might as well just Go there and leave an impression. We're going to trigger uh, Bladestorm twice to be precise. This is just going to be a bind. Deals one damage, ne completely neglectable. And I was hoping that we would stun with either of our shots. But as a backup option, we have impact fields. So that essentially reduces the damage to a very moderate level. Only thing that I couldn't counter was uh, the failed drone. So that's another stun. Bravo. Bravissimo. Got another run and gun. So let's get rid of the drone. Pretty sad about how the drone did not work out. We could have probably used revival protocol to get rid of the disorientation of puppy first. Wow. This drone is dodging every single shot. Crazy. Alright, time to disrupt the Viper. <clears throat> this here should end the grapple. I want to make sure that we are 100% safe that it ends the grapple. Because by ending the grapple, it kind of sealed its own fate. Good, that is the last of them. We took minor injuries, but overall pretty much a stomp. Got it. All 
almost like predicted. Good. We're opening the trunk, getting the sniper out of here, and oh, yeah. then that's that. Will do. Bypassing security. Small cache of intel. Yep, let's just take that. Intel is a welcome is a welcome resource just on top of it. There should be around 10, 15 Intel. Rolling. Moving out. Scanning. Eyes peeled. No trespassers. All right, now it's becoming interesting. One set of reinforcements. Probably nothing to worry about because we can still leave here. Might as well take another cache of intel because Alerting someone else doesn't really mean a lot for us. Sniper called Dead Eye. I like that. All right, Overwatch, 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 and Overwatch. That's a Commando and a normal Stun Lancer. Apparently they haven't even triggered. At the same time, we're not here to score hundreds of kills. Might as well just move out. Good. And that's yet another successful mission. Unfortunately not flawless, but pretty okay, I would say. It was not a very difficult one, if you think about it. But we got a sniper, uh, so and we had a really solid team, and maybe we're even getting a promotion. And we're back in action. We got the promotion out of it for Pitbull. I like it. So Pitbull, I think I'm not going for chain shot. It's okay, but the aim penalty is just um, pretty atrocious. I think I'm going to try bigger bombs uh, for him. That maybe together with the combat engineer might be enough to finally get rid of all of the different tiles. Got 10 intel and the sniper, perfect. So that was a good mission. Let's take a look. Holy moly, we got another 100% mission right here.
Well guys, I think that's our next target right here, 100% mission for a bit of resistance personnel, but also a couple of rookies. That's not too bad. We can we can use more resistance personnel here. In fact, we got 13 already, so yeah, not the best reward. Good, here we got 12 and 10 Intel, Intel, lots of supplies here, which is fine. And it feels like we're not even, it, it's super, the, the time is super slow, we're just hopping from mission to mission. But yeah, I, it is what it is, uh, we're going for exactly the next mission. Heaven still has a strength of 1 here strength of five in brazil strength of five in new chile uh once but a vigilance level of 19 which is crazy so they definitely know that something's up vigilance level seven to eight eight is kind of a breaking point after eight you don't get any really good uh, recruiting missions mere, uh, anymore On the other hand, we're already at force level 15. I think the maximum was 20 in the normal game. I, I am forgetting how high the force level can grow uh, with long war. Just from, from how far we are in the game, I think 20 of 25 might be the highest uh, that it gets. Of course, they will always um, get additional stat bonuses from the dark events, which is kind of a hidden uh, training for each of the enemies to make them even more strong. But yeah, that's fine. We can do the jailbreak next, better than nothing. So we can definitely do it. Uh, once we're done here with the radio relay, we need to continue making contact. We got enough uh, contra um, contracts, that's fine. Intel is so and so, we probably need a little bit more, but we can farm that here. And I'd like to get to East Asia just to knock off uh, the four um, blips on the Avatar project and then also invade the new Arctic and knock out whatever blips we're having here. Yeah, I know there was another factory in the new Arctic, um, so we're going in to invade it very soon. Today it was a shorter episode, we're only 30 minutes in, but sometimes you only get half an hour out of it. Uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content, as always, leave a comment and a like below and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.